let's look and see how we can extract data from an existing drawing. Here are some survey lines. I know they're not in the right color. I just threw everything on the zero layer. Uh, but here they are. And if I look at it, you can see I've given them all an elevation. So this drawing is uh, correct in 3D. The end point of each of these lines is a survey point, And the end has been taken up to the correct um, elevation. You can also see that if I look at the properties of a point and I select that line, you can see that the um, end Z of the line is at four feet. Okay, so, so this is ready to go. I'd like to get this into Revit now. And one way I can do that is to extract the data so that I have those endpoints. So let's see how we do that. Okay, so I'm going to do it by going to the Insert tab and doing Extract Data. And you can just type Extract and it'll show up too. Extract, I think it will. Data extraction, right there, extract data. And so the first thing it does is it asks me, what rules do you want to use? So I'll create a new set of rules, create a new data extraction. Um, and so and now I have to put it somewhere. So I'm going to put this data extraction rule set in my files and I'll just call it um, endpoint extractions DXE okay so now it's got a place to save the rules what am I going to do um, I'll use everything in this drawing because that's all there's there but you can select at different points of it okay and so now where is it going to go put it? Um, it's going to put it in export endpoints. It's going to put it right in the same place. AutoCAD extra. So I know where it's going to go. Okay. So I'll just take everything that's in this drawing. Next. And all oh, there are lines. So that's good. Sometimes you there's other stuff. Text and... Um, all blocks and things and you can choose what you want to add or not now I have to say what do I want to extract okay and I want the geometry I don't need all the other stuff about it and I want the end point of each line so if I right click over in this area I can uncheck everything and then I know I want end x end y and end z i want the end points of those lines because that's what goes into revit we've done that now okay and i can uncheck all of these so i have end x end y end z and it gives me the values then go into next and i'm going to output those to a file I can put them in a table. And I think you've done this in Design 310. Okay, but I'm going to go find a place to put it. I'm going to put it... Um, and I'll just put it in my um, data extractions. I'll go put it in there. And this file export endpoints dash one that sounds okay to me and next and finish and it's done okay i've i've got those somewhere in my computer so let's go look for them i think i had them on my w drive under 350 data extractions and there it is 
And now you see how similar these look to exactly what we were able to put into Revit. And that's what you're going to do. Okay, so once you've done that, oh, there's a few things. One, all these little things here, if I click on that, it says it's formatted as text. So let me highlight all of those, click on that, and convert them to numbers. Now it is set to be used in Revit. And that's what I want you to do now. So once you've extracted the data, go and make a new topo solid in Revit, which is just like what we've done before, but now you're developing the file to use instead of just giving one that's been given to you, okay? So that's how to extract the data.